YouTube and hello viewers and welcome back to yet another episode of creating our online community project. My name is Wayne and I've been taking for these amazing episodes currently. What we're going to be looking at today is creating part two of our login system. What we did in part one is we created our game instance which was going to hold um, just some variables for us. We can call them in our widget so it makes it a little bit more easier for us to grab instead of writing the same things over and over again. So I decided to do that first. We didn't have to, but I thought, why not show you how to write uh, a, a JSON, or well, basically the URL that we need um, to grab the information, then grab all the JSON stuff that came out from that um, with the fields that fed back. So what we're going to do in this one is actually create that login system. Um, this is going to be, I'm not going to say we're going to go crazily into this one, but we are just going to make sure that the person can log in. I am going to set you with a little bit of homework at the end of the session uh, because there is going to be a fault and you'll see that at the end of the session and I want to see if you guys have been learning um, through the process of what we have been doing and I want to see if you guys can crack what the what the issue is at the end so hopefully you guys can nail it. So let's move into our main screen. So where we left off last time was we created this game instance which um, had all the information um, that we were saving. Now remember if you're having more information then obviously you'd add some more fields and then obviously you'd have to update it in your notepad plus plus and etc. So you had to make sure that everything was all um, fine and dandy. But as I said, we didn't really need to have all this section. All we really needed was this part here for now. Um, and then we could have done this later on, but I decided to just do it all together. Um, just save us a bit of time and we don't have to repeat another process again. So what I'd like you all to do um, in this session is we're going to go into our widgets. So um, I put mine into blueprints and then widgets and just open up your widget blueprint. Now I've already done this and I'm not too sure if you guys have already, but I've named these. So I've named this text box TXT username, this one TXT password, this one BTN login and this one BTN quit. I like naming them. If you don't want to name them, you don't have to, um, but it does make it a little bit more easier when we move into the coding section of what each one is and yeah it just it just it just makes sense really um to name them correctly okay so let's get started so we're going to head into our graph and basically what we want to do is when they click the button so we're going to click on btn login so this is why i said naming is is really important here so we're going to have btn login and we're going to say when the user clicks that button okay and we're going to do some stuff so First of all, we want to cast to our game instance. We're going to say cast to game instance YouTube or whatever you named your instance. Okay, and we want to get the game instance as the object. So get game instance. All right, so we want to get the instance um, of that. And then basically, we're going to do the same thing that we pretty much did here. We had to get a, a JSON request or start constructing it and apply it in a URL. So we're just going to click here and say uh, construct json request okay and then we're just going to say apply url so url you gotta remember you have to have the virus plugin for this otherwise it ain't going to work and we'll just connect these up together for now all right and if you remember correctly we had this very long url now the nice thing is is that we've already saved variables in here so we can use these to our advantage now hence why we casted um, makes our life a lot more easier if we need to grab some information so let's append. So let's append that up. Okay, so first thing we need is we need to, exactly the same way, we're going to grab the URL. So we're just going to drag off this and I'm going to say get URL. And we're just going to plug that into there. Now these, it's going to start getting a little bit messy. So um, if you can line it up correctly, then you do so. Um, but for the instance of this video, I'm not going to be too picky on everything else. Then we need the page name. So we're going to get the info page, so the page, I should really call it a page name to be honest. I'm going to plug that into there. So basically we're just following the same system again. So localhost and then we've got the game info.php. However, now what we want to do is we want to grab information from this section. So the login area. So this is going to be the first function we created. It's called stuff and login. But as you can see, we want to grab the username and password, and that's called a user and password here. So these are going to be very important to us um, of sending information um, to the page. So let's just swap back over. And what we want to do is in the C, we want to say question mark. Oh, damn you, 
we're saving question mark we're going to have user equals so that user is coming from this name here so user so whatever you name this please make sure that you um, put the right information in so user we're going to add another pin and what we want to do is we want to grab the username and that's from the text box we're going to grab the text box we're going to get that and we're going to get its text so get text from the text box I'm going to plug that in so basically that's saying um, go to the URL open up the page we want to get the username from this text box and then as you probably guessed we now want to get the password so we're going to say and password is equal to and if we have a look is it called password it is so password there okay so we need to make sure all the naming is correct so and the password is equal to and then as you guessed we're going to grab our password section let me just copy these just save oh man not comment oh man copy and paste it in to say as you can see it's starting to get a little bit messy and we're going to plug that in so we've got the password now then what we need to do is we need to get the function name so we've already got that so we can drag off this node and we're going to say get f name that's what we called it so the function name so add a pin pop that into there as you can see it's starting to get very ugly um, in regards to structure I mean you can lay it out um, nicely if you want and then we want to get the name allocated to the function um, and that's called where is it there we go it's called login so we're just gonna make another pin and we're gonna put login here okay so now that's basically getting all our information that we need for the login now remember this is not very secure I need to keep stressing this on every single video um, this is not secure um, so please if you are gonna make this go live you need to start looking at things like security um, and other things I might do that in a later video but for now um, we're just gonna leave it as it is um, just for testing purposes and just see if it all works so if everything's correct so we've got the username we've got the password and everything's working here on our um, result just like we did it on our game instance we want to get the field so we want to get a field remember it's Jason so we want to get the field and the field name in this instance is going to be called result and I'm going to show you exactly where that is so let's go back into notepad so we look under login if we go all the way down to our results that came back we've got a field here called result and we need to make sure if it equals success so let's go back into unreal so we're gonna say just convert this as a string just for security well not security but just to make sure that everything is a string and we want to say is equal to and what we wanted to make sure was equal to was success All right so success then we can branch so B and click if you don't know and just plug that into the condition and on complete we're just gonna branch so basically this is just checking to see if the result is saying success if it does say success we're gonna just print a string for debugging um, so if it's successful we're gonna say um, woohoo there we go we'll do that for now if it's false I'm gonna print another string uh, so print another string and this one's gonna be um, oh no oh no okay so basically we just gonna just see if the actual system is working um, and does log us in um, by using our username and password now remember I did say to you that we're gonna have we're gonna come across an error near the end of the the end of this episode and I'm gonna get used to see if you can work it out um, but I'll, I'll give you some hints um, at the end of the video so let's compile save and play now actually let's not do that yet let's make a let's make an account I didn't make the quit button so let's go on to the web browser okay so let's open up the web browser let's go on to my local host now I'm just gonna make um, an account just to uh, test with right, so test Sorry, make an account. Test three at test three. Oh, no, just test three will do. So test three, and we'll just have test. Mm, yeah, test three at test three. Why not? And then we'll just have test three as the password. <laughs> so once that's done, let's uh, create the account, and it should say everything's fine and I'm successfully registered. Now. I've changed my, PH, my PHP script 
um, just for um, just to show you uh, obviously yours would be hashed up into crazy little bits and pieces so um, let me just show you what I mean let me just log into the database I'll show you so see I've just made a new user called test3 and test 3k but it didn't come as this hash password here okay and I want to show you why I've done this and um, why I've changed this is because I'm going to try and log in as this here so Waza and the password for this username was YouTube okay but it's just been hashed up into loads of bits and pieces so I want to show you something that's going to happen um, if I play so if I use Waza uh, matters with caps so Waza and I'm going to put in YouTube and log in. It should print a string saying, oh no. But if I try my new one, which is test three and test three and log in, you'll notice that it'll say woohoo because that's correct. Okay, because it's looking at test three and test three. So the question is, why is the Wazza one not working? So let's go back and let's go back into my database. Now you'll notice Waz is here and he's got this very strange looking password. Now I'm going to show you something. If I copy all this password, if I copy this and paste it in. So just show you working here. So Waz uh, like that and I'll paste in that password. So this long password here and say login. It should now say. Hello. Why is that not working? Log in. Oh, there we go. So it says woohoo um, because they do match. I don't know why I keep losing the mouse cursor there sometimes. Okay, because they match. Now, this is the homework I'm going to set you. Basically, I've just set mine to write as these individually. Um, you can do that, and I'll show you how to do that just quickly. So if you want to test instead of copying and pasting, you could on your register page. So your register.php. All I did is I took out this new password. So I just put two forward slashes after that. And then I replaced the new password, which is over here, right, with you pass. So basically it just takes the beginner password. All right. So it doesn't hash it up into loads of pieces. All right. So all I did was just change the variable where it would have said over here, it would have said new password just change that to you pass and saved which now allowed me to make um you know that test three and then test three which showed test three now that's definitely not secure to do that the hash is a lot more better what i would like you to try is to see if you can with the so our game info is how do we get this password to unhash in this section here okay so notice we're just grabbing the password all right, so what I want you to do is make um, maybe something called a dollar pass password unhashed. The spelling's terrible. And then I want you to see if you can work out how to unhash the password and be able to log in with a hash password by using legit words. Like, for example, as I said, YouTube would have been a legit word instead of putting the hash in. So that's the challenge I'm going to give you guys. Um, because I released two videos together, um, I think it's only fair that I, I give you a bit of a test. So hopefully you guys could manage that. But overall, the system is working. Um, so we can say test three again, and we put test three in into here. So test three, log in, and it should say woohoo in the corner, which means we log in. And then we're still going to do a little bit more. We're not just going to leave it there. Uh, we're going to check to see if they banned, if they've got a key. Um, so we need to make sure they all are true. Otherwise, we don't want them to log in. But for now, that's the simplicity of getting the login to work correctly. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Nice and easy session to get that to log in. However, if we didn't have these set up originally, that would have been a nightmare to work on. So... Yeah, there's nothing else I can say in regards to that video. So hopefully you guys can manage the homework. You might need to troll through some forums because some of you don't really code. So you might have to have a look around, see how to unhash things. Um, I will maybe um, maybe show you how to unhash it. I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see you can do it and, and whatnot. Right, so that's pretty much that session. 
I want to thank you very much for joining me for this one. My name's Wayne. It was been really nice taking for this session and we actually managed to get the login system working. It's not fully complete, but you can see it does log us in now, which is what we wanted to happen. So yeah, in our next episode, we'll look at how to um, improve the login system and to make sure, um, see if they're not banned and we're going to check to see if they've actually got a CD key and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, we'll move on from there. Don't forget to do your homework. Remember, if you like this, this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you really like the video, uh, or videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like my channel, you want to keep me going, just drop a donation at the link above. Thank you very much. My name is Wayne, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.